Innovation Week 2023 brought to us by the good people here at Tech NL. I want to tell you, I've really enjoyed the conversation. Josh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Tell us what you do. Sure. As Pandy, I work for Veristar. I'm a co-founder along with Craig Hannum. Uh, we're in the construction tech sector solving the problem of access control and security. And at the same time, I'm also responsible for industry relations with Kian. And the great guys at Kian are helping us with Veristart as well. So it's a insensuous relationship there in a way, but it's, it's a great one on a business perspective. So there's two sides to the coin here with you, coin, right? Yeah. Let's uh, focus on, uh, before we get into the Innovation Week uh, holistically, let's focus on your role with Kian. What, what do you do there and, and why is that important at the moment? So it goes full circle back to when I was part of the board for TechNL. At the time, it was called Natty, Newfoundland Association of Tech Industries. And at that time in the board, this was about 10 years ago, talent pool was a big gap. We didn't have a talent pool here for technology, for developers, and we were looking at ways to do it. And at the time as the board, we even did grassroots activities with our organization. We had people from companies like Camouflage at the time that were putting engineers, young engineers in the schools, grade six, seven, eight, nine, just teaching coding on a, once a week. Fast forward now, seven, eight years, 10 years, we have this, we have the ESDC program that came out, Find Your Future in Tech. We have all this money being invested, $30 million into Newfoundland and Labrador to get people ramped up and upskilled. So for me, it was an amazing opportunity when Craig and Steve came and said, look, we wanna to work together with businesses and make sure what we create matches their need. And so my job is really to work with those uh, businesses and understand what are their needs and the curriculum that we create on the, on the micro-credential side, we just make sure we're matching the need. We have interviews, we have developed that relationship and a trusted relationship that, you know, we're, what we're doing is, is, is what the industry is asking for. Yeah, you're the guy that closes the loop, right? It's on, that continuous feedback and you close the loop. On business development slash almost product management, I work with the product management team to give them the market requirements and, and, and they go away and they create the curriculum and, and we have something that constantly get feedback on. And, you know, it's, it's in partnership with other organizations as well. Like you have MUN, you have CNA, great R&D work and they can do a lot, but as a private uh, learning institution, we can pivot very quickly. And that's where the value for, mm -hmm. that we bring to the overall community partnership. And Kian is doing amazing stuff. Let's flip that coin. Tell me what else you're doing. So Veristart, um, for those that don't know, we're solving the problem of access control and security for construction equipment. Um, I didn't know this about two years ago, but all construction equipment uses a single key. So there's no security. You can start a backhoe by John Deere here in St. John's. You can start it in Toronto or Mumbai, India. So there's no security and that's why you're seeing theft. About 10 years ago, those keys, you'd have to work in the construction sector, go to a parts catalog to order it. You can order it online for $20 now, keys for every different brand. So there's no security and there's a regulatory push to also understand who's using which piece of equipment based on their training credentials. So we solved that problem of access control by putting the key in the cloud. And as a owner or fleet manager, you could designate which operator can use which piece of equipment based on their credentials. And then they get a set of digital keys under their cell phone. And with their mobile phone, they just tap like you would in the grocery store and they get access if they have the digital key. Very simple solution. Um, it's innovative, there's a lot of stuff behind it, but it's something that the market needs and it's a gap today. Wow, that's pretty incredible, right? So basically, you tie the key to the person's credentials, away they go, they drive the piece of equipment and that's it. And I'm assuming should they need to track the equipment for whatever reason, if damage or anything yeah. happens, you can just link it all together. It's all you link it all together and then you can do other things like you know maintenance checklists, you can tie that into the mobile phone. There's a lot you can do as a value add, not just for the owners, but also for the operators. Make their job simpler so they can focus on doing what they do in the construction sector. So we're trying to you know ease the pain for both the operator and the owner. What an incredible product. Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's, it's going to be very, it's very, very cool. You got a lot going on, man, between Kian and, and, and this. Well, no different than you or anybody else. Yeah. Everybody here is busy. It's I think it's the tech sector. Everybody is hustling and, and doing things. On that vein, tell me about uh, the Innovation Week. How's it been for you? Oh, my God, it's been fantastic. We've got a chance to meet with so many different people down here. Uh, congratulations to Tech and L team, like where they brought this organization in the last 10 years. Continues to grow. Um, you know, we've been really excited by the messages that we're hearing. I mean, it's great to hear about AI and understand what the potential and what some of the drawbacks are. So I think that's important for the community. Um, yeah, I, I, this is one of my favorite events. This is my favorite event for yeah. the year, I gotta say. And a lot of, you got a lot of students in the room buzzing around. The, the vibe here is pretty good. Tell me about what that means. My God, so as, as, a, as somebody from Key and then just from, you know, and I went to Memorial, just seeing all these students in here today was incredible. And that's the first time I've seen probably 250 students in a room where you had a lineup of about 20 students wanting to ask the panel questions. So it just shows that the students are also getting more engaged and that this 
Tech NL is really helping bring together the entire community. So I think, you know, we're going to see a lot of new grads coming out and a lot of opportunities to hire them here locally. Future's bright all around. What are you most excited about? I'm most excited about this interview. Yeah. <laughs> well, I love meeting you, Alan. It's great, great to have this chance to have a chat with you. Um, you know, I landed in a nice place with Craig and Steve and the team uh, with Kean. Got a great opportunity with Veristart with Craig Hanneman and Lou Lawrence. So, you know, right now and having that intertwined so that it's you know supportive from both sides is incredible. Um, yeah, the future is future is bright for well, everybody. Listen, I have to tell you, we really uh, appreciate you being on the show. We appreciate your perspective and all the good work that you do. I always like being in a conversation with you. The last time you and I spoke, we were in Brackley Beach, Prince Edward Island. We were. You had your shorts on. I have my shorts on. I don't have them on today. It's cooled right off, and you know. Yeah, it hasn't been that long. That was, what, two, three months ago. So since then, on the Veristart side, we got into Creative Destruction Lab. So we're heading to Halifax in a couple of weeks, and that's exciting. And, uh, you know, we're almost at a point now we're going to launch a proof of concept. So we have letters of intent here locally. So that's moving along, too. So, yeah, the weather's getting colder, but uh, the business is getting warmer, let's say. There you go. <laughs> All right. Great being in conversation. All right, Alan, thank you for having me. Cheers. You too, buddy.